Well, hello, fair people. It's Temptation, and welcome back to the Crafted Server, first of all. Second of all, finished cleaning up all of this prankiness. And let me tell you, that took a little while to do. Not too long, but a little while for sure. So I finished uh, finished finishing the uh, this floor area here. And uh, let me say, it looks really, really cool, especially from the bottom, from inside this area. I mean, like, really cool. Uh, it just gives it a whole new look in here, and especially with these leaves you can see out. It's just really awesome. Uh, so what I wanna do this episode is I've got quite a bit of wood, and you see I've been experimenting here at the base, but I want to kind of make this base area look like a tree, just like this does. Looks like the roots going down and branching off. I want to do the same thing uh, with the base there. So I got a lot of jungle wood. I just kind of want to mess with it and see how it's going to look. So I'm on alone right now. Nobody else is on, which is kind of sad, but somebody is likely to show up soon enough. We have um, haven't really added any more members lately, although I all am always constantly looking for new members. It just so happens that I haven't really found any good people that aren't already on a server, so that's it. That's that. So what I want to do, let's go ahead and remove the existing wood, and then we can work from there outward on uh, what we want this to look like thing is inside we can just place a few torches and make it kind of hollow because then we can oh, let's check it check it he's drowning see it's a working oh would you drop nothing okay <laughs> so let's go ahead and take our stone bricks back too those could be handy Because basically, we're not going to see this inside part. It's going to be covered up by the jungle wood. And I think it'll actually turn out to be looking pretty snazzy. I've done similar designs, but most of my designs that I've done before happen in a single player world. And what I did with those is I just took like, um, like a whole tree and I grew the tree... And then I kind of like filled it in, so to speak. So here's what I'm thinking. Probably this is going to be a far enough radius. Um, and I want to make this like that. And same thing here. So it looks like it's kind of, oh crap kind of growing outwards almost. And I don't want it to be too symmetrical, but I would like the entrance to be somewhat symmetrical. So that's what we're gonna do here. I just kinda do that. So then obviously this part is going to have to be filled in. And I just kinda wanna do this randomly. Um, not too like crazy but I also want it to look like it's an actual tree and it's not just like grown one way and all that so I hope we have enough here to kind of get going but I think that's a good start for that area um, so let's see if we go up and out like this then come back down oh yeah that that could be something and that could be something as well. Where's that spider? Did it just spawn up here? Oh, you... Uh, uh. Thank you. Give me. Yeah, so I think that looks actually pretty nice. Um, it looks... I mean, this whole thing is kind of going to be a little experiment here for me. Uh, because it, it it's kind of different. I've never really done something so abstract. At least I don't think I have. So that that could that could work. That looks pretty nice. Although I would like um, maybe this one we can go 
and uh, we, <laughs> we can go like, and I should probably get some filler blocks too, right? We use stone bricks. Okay, so like, like I said, all these interior ones, these can just, I can put a torch in here and not worry about it. Don't worry about it. So let's, oops, let's go up top here. See if I can make my way up here. I can't, <laughs> but that actually, that could, that could be something. So now if we go up here, maybe, and kind of mess with this, make it look like it's actually going to uh, grow upwards a bit more, kind of close that off. Let's go back down and see what this looks like. Oh, yeah. Because then we can just kind of blend it from there. Okay, that looks really, really nice, actually. Looks like a tree, and that's what we're going for. We want it to look just like a tree. So we need to go out here. Boop, 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 boop. Yes, okay. And luckily, I cut down, like, three jungle trees for this, so... Uh, we'll, we'll be good. Got plenty, plenty, man. So I just got back from the dermatologist. Which, if you don't know, that's a doctor for your face. Or for skin, I should say. Most people go for their face for acne and, and things like that. But some people do just go for, like, um, warts and things like that. Uh, so, yeah, I got some new prescription to help with my face and its good looks. You know, because everybody needs a little help with their good looks, right? Except for me, I don't need help, but I'm getting it anyway just to, you know, be cool and be like everybody else. Because who doesn't want to be like everybody else? Um, so that took like two hours. I get out of school early on pretty much every day but Tuesday and Thursday, and I still get out early on Tuesday and Thursday, so it wasn't a big deal. Didn't miss too much time, and now I'm able to uh, to record for you guys. Oop. To record for you guys, so I'm, uh, I'd say I'm on track. Might actually need some more wood if we keep this going. And I don't know why I didn't just go like this. I'm going to take back some of this wood, obviously. I'm not going to use all of it. Uh, boop, boop. So now we can um, give me. Thank you. Boop, 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 boop. This where it gets a little tricky. Got to parkour around this place. Oh, you no, you didn't. Oh no, you didn't. I hate the rain. I hate it. It's sucky. Okay, so there we go. Oh, perfect. So there is our basic skeleton. Now, obviously, we're going to remove, like, the bottom layers of it. Let's just remove the bottom two layers for now. Because we, we don't need those at all. Because uh, we're gonna fill them in, so let's uh, let's put a torch in there for good measure. It does seem a little bit dark in here. I think that's just a because it's raining and b because I put a roof on the place now, so it is a uh, it is a little bit different. Okay, but there we go. So that looks much better. And now we can kind of work our way down. Um, let's see. I mean, here it doesn't really have to be too crazy. Although I would like to make it a little taller here. Maybe if we do that. Boom. Pow. Boom, boom, pow. Them girls be jacking my style. <laughs> Oh, man. I cracked myself up. So I'm going to go ahead and 
kind of finish this up here, just the basic circle design, because I want to move on to some bigger and better things. So I'll be right back. All right, so I finished it. Just do a little quick water, a little quick walk around for you guys. Uh, the sides and back are a little more bolted up than the front, and that's on purpose because the front is supposed to look kind of hollowed out, like I'm using it as an entrance, because I am. So I think that looks pretty good, actually. And maybe we could even put some torches there to make it look welcoming. Yeah, I think that's going to work real nice. Uh, so now I just got to kind of fill this in to make it look right. And then, oh, crap. Crappy crap. I need that. Crap. <laughs> okay. Boop. Boop. We should be good now. So that is what it looks like, and I honestly think it looks great, but you know what it needs now? It needs some vines. So I think I've got a stack or two down here that we can use and kind of decorate it up, make it look a little more realistic with those vines. Uh-oh. Hope nothing's burning. I mean, it is raining, so that should put it out, um, but... You never know. I'm going to grab the saplings that have dropped. Okay. And back in we go. Into the safetiness. Uh, let's actually do check up top here. Make sure we're good. Yes, everything looks good. Okay. Down we go. So here I just kind of want to make it look cool. Um... So no real design I'm going for. I just want it. And eventually, like, a lot of these are going to grow downwards. But a lot of them aren't since they're on inclines and stuffs. So I want to make it beautiful and good looking. Uh, whoop. Doop. And this will make it look really kind of rustic almost, in my opinion. Giving it kind of a old tree feel. Definitely pretty nice looking. Yes. That looks sweet. I see already one of them's grown. Oh, somebody sent me scap scap chats. Chatty Cathy's. Okay, maybe a few more back here. We're not going to use this too much back here, but I would like it to look somewhat like the other sides. There we go. That is a tree. That be a tree. Okay, so now what I want to do is kind of want to move up to the top. And let's go ahead and sleep. Maybe we can get this rain to go away. Yes, perfect. Perfecto timing -o. I don't have much longer in this episode. But let's see what kind of what designs we can do for up top. Uh, get some glass. Get some glowstone. And some levers and redstone. Maybe some pistons too. Okie dokie. So what I want to do up top. I want to start kind of eventually moving most of our stuff up to the top and we need to have a good way up now right now it's just a ladder and that's probably the way it's going to stay because uh, the stairway did not really work if we wanted to go all different directions here up top unless we made every level a different height and that just didn't seem like it was going to work very well so let's plop down this and I would like to make some redstone lamps, and I don't know how well it's... Is that not how you do it? How do you do it? Is it like that? Oh, I think I, think I know. Um, <laughs> can you not get dust out of that? Okay. Um, is it dust? Nope. 
<laughs> How do you make this? I'd be dumb. No, what the heck? Um, glass, redstone. No. Oh, hang on. I think I got it. Nope. Okay. Looks like I'm gonna <laughs> look this. Okay. Up I guess quick. I was just doing it wrong. Um, you just put the redstone like that. Boom goes the dynamite. Also, I learned this from Jake. Uh, if you put the glowstone dust or anything in here, shift and then right click, it'll evenly distribute everything you have. So if you're trying to make like stairs or something, boop, it'll evenly distribute all that, which is awesome. Very helpful. Okay, so what I want to do up here is kind of maybe have them right there on the corners definitely on the corners and then maybe we'll just go one two three one two three no nah, we might do four one two three see we we'll still have an odd amount it seems so I'll just do them every three one two three boom Okay, and the same thing over here. So I want to do this and see kind of how it looks. And then we can check it from the bottom. Let's go ahead and power them. I hope this will maybe bring a little bit of ambiance downstairs. Considering all we got down there is torches right now, and those are kind of gay, to be honest. Uh, boop. I made the perfect amount. Look at that. So let's see how these look. I like to see how they look at night, but that's okay. I mean, you can't hardly even tell they're there unless you're right over them. But if I take the torches out, what happens if I take the torches out? It's a little dark. Well, here it is because there's nothing there. But over here, that could work. Could work very well. Let's turn our brightness down. Moody. Oh, yeah. Look at that. Check that out. So now we're just kind of getting the little bit of light from the ceiling here. I think that looks so cool. Moody lighting. Definitely. That's awesome. Okay, so now really the only thing we should do downstairs is maybe do these lamps. Um, or maybe we just stick with torches. But the torches don't seem to light very well. We might be better with um, some fence posts. Let's let's try this. Some chandelier action. Uh, oh man, this this game looks so good and moody. Let me know how you like it if you're watching to this point. I think it looks great, but it might not show up very well on video, so we'll have to we'll have to figure that out. Signs maybe. Um, and then we got the glowstone already, so that should work. Maybe make a few chandeliers in here. Wood, of course, because we are living in a treed, tree-ish area. So I'm thinking just right here. We just hang one down there. Does that look too weird? That does look kind of weird. And it is a little low, too. What if we connect these? I think it looks better without them connected. Okay, but we can maybe do a couple of those. Make it a little bit brighter. Yeah. 
Yeah, I think I like it better when it's not connected. Hmm. Yeah, that looks really cool. Kind of adds a little bit to the place. And I can't get to the other side. But that's okay. I don't care about that. Okay, but I think that does look a bit better. Now, hopefully, we can take out the torch, most of the torches. I'm going to leave those two on the entryway there. This one we can take. Oh, yeah. This is looking nice. I'm going to leave them on the walls for now. Maybe we can figure out some lighting for the walls later. Boop. And a boop. Okay, yeah, this is... This is so cool. Uh, I wish it was nighttime so we could test that a little bit. But, I mean, this is... This is phenomenal. Looks really cool. Now, of course, we still got the light coming in from outside there, but that's not really doing much. It's mostly the torches. So I think this could work. I think this could work really well. We just gotta make sure nothing spawns, because I don't want anything spawning down here. I just want it to be just bright enough. Um... Uh, 10, 9, 8, 7. I think 7 you can get spawns. There's a light level 6 there too. Yeah, 6, 5. Eight, 7, 6. Yeah, so we could add a little bit more lighting. But, you know, that's not too big of a deal. We can do that fairly easily. Maybe add a couple more chandeliers or some hidden lights in the floor here would be nice. So, I'm gonna maybe gather some more resources off camera here. And we'll continue working on this in the next episode. I think it's really starting to take shape now, guys. So thanks for watching, and we'll see you soon.